Okay, welcome to Jaquita Bait and Tackle. Um, I'm going to show you guys a quick cop trace that we use here in uh, False Bay. So this is what you're going to need, your fluorocarbon 0.80 um, hook trace. I'm going to use the Maxima 17 kilogram sinker trace. You can also use the 12.5. Um, obviously your grab sinker, um, your combination swivel, I don't know if you can see this. And then BKK 7 hour circle look. So I'm just going to build a quick trace and show you guys. First of all, um, let me get this. Okay, the size of your, your, your trace must be quite long. So I make mine like this long. This is a trace for, for cop. Um, and then, obviously, when you fish with a circle look, you must make sure you snell your hook. Um, there's different ways of snelling a hook. Um, I'm just going to show you my quick and easy way of snelling a circle hook. So I'm just going to go in, okay, and then I'm just going to do a figure eight knot on the shank. Twice around my finger, and go through the back. Okay, and then you pull it tight. So look at this knot. Small knot on the hook shank. Perfectly snelled. Okay, just cut the tag in off. Then your combination swivel. Uh, there's different ways of using the combination swivel. I'm going to show you my way and the reason why I'm doing it this way. So my hook trace is going to go on the, the swivel that's spinning. Okay, the top one. Then I'm going to show you now why. So I'm just going to do a trace. Normal, normal figure eight knot. You can do any knot. It doesn't matter as long as it sticks. Okay, there we go. There's your, there's your figure eight. There's your figure eight. Okay, pull it tight. There we go. Okay, and then my sinker trace, like I said, the Maxima, um, 12.5 or 16, 17 is fine. Um, that must be longer than your hook trace. I'm going to show you why it must be longer. Okay, it's going to go here at the bottom. So, normal granny knot. Let's pull it tight. Okay, so this must be longer for your dangle. In your sinker, six ounce grab, depends on what you're going to cast. Anything from a five, six, seven, eight ounce grab sinker. Because you want you you want your bait to stay in one place once casted. Okay, and that's it, that's my trace. So yeah, I've got the my sinker trace. Okay. And just look at this guys. So I just want to cut off the stag in. So this is a combination swivel. Okay, so your main line coming from from your rod is going to go onto this end here, your leader. Okay, so when you cast it in, your sinker is going to lie there in the sand. Okay, and look at this. This swivels, so your bait your bait can move around in the water. That's why I tie mine on the top swivel and not the bottom. Okay, so it can move around. And then you're going to obviously use your dingle dangle. There's different ones, you can you can build your own dangles. That's gonna go through here, the hook, through the heat shrink. You're gonna build your bait onto this, and just before you're done, you're gonna clip it onto your sinker. So here's your old trace. Okay, clip it onto your sinker, cast it in. Once it hits the water, it will release the bait and it will float around. Okay, so that's one basic cop trace that we use here in False Bay. Okay, so be on the lookout for the bait demonstration that's going to be on the next video for the cop trace that I've just bought. Remember to like this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell. 
um, to get reminders when we do new uploads.